Alright guys, so what we're going to do here today is I got those two skunks that we caught yesterday. I uh, didn't get to clean them, so I'm going to go ahead and get to cleaning them. I'm going to show you guys how I mix the fat for that. Uh, i never done this before. I watched a video a couple months ago on how to do it. Basically, you just want to take uh, just regular peroxide that you buy at you know, Walmart, Dollar General, anything like that. Uh, usually, for the one I watch, to use one of these. For one skunk, I have two skunks, so I'm gonna go ahead and make enough for two so I can do them both at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two quarts of peroxide in there. So we empty both containers in there, one all in there. I've already measured this out. You want about uh, two tablespoons of baking soda. Go ahead and put that in there. And then the Dawn dish soap. Uh, if you're doing one, you put the one tablespoon. So I'm going to put two. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to put it in there. So that's about one, two. And then I just have my steel here. This is still I use to pull my animals. I'm just going to use to stir it up. Put that baking soda mix in there real well. And you know, you know, this it's not going to be very full. You know, we're only about right there. As far as full goes, not even a quarter of the way. Uh, I'm definitely going to put on some gloves, latex, vinyl, whatever. I got latex here, it's powder free. It's what I use for skinning. And the ones I'm using when I'm making baits and lures and stuff. And it's pretty cold out here. Uh, last time I checked, it was 28, so I'm guessing it's probably about 25, 24 right now. So we got that mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. Go ahead and stick them in the bucket. And we're gonna cover them really, really good. Wanna wash them out really good. This is gonna help eliminate a lot of the snow. It's also gonna clean the fur for you. So you want to scrub them about as good as you can. And go ahead and wring the fur out. Go ahead and set this one to the side. Grab my next skunk. I'm going to do the same thing. Stick it all the way in the bucket. Just going to scrub it down really good. Now normally like if, uh, if I'm able to dispatch the skunk without it spraying, uh, I won't even worry about doing this. Because they don't really stink, they have no smell to them really. Uh, these ones I weren't that lucky. They sprayed big time when we dispatched them. So I'm going to scrub them down really good. Make sure to get their tail area and stuff really good. That's where it's really going to be at. We're going to go ahead and we're going to wring this one out. And get as much off as we can. And
So there we go. Now I'm going to take the, uh, I'll take the water hose and I'll lightly just rinse them off. I'm not going to spray them real hard. Just going to lightly rinse that stuff off and I'm going to let it set on there for a little bit. In about five minutes I'll go ahead and rinse them off and then just wring them out real good and then I'll skin them. And we'll let the furs dry overnight. You definitely don't want to roll them up and freeze them like that. So we'll let them dry overnight. Uh, so that's a basic simple way of washing your skunks. So you ain't got to worry about the smell because right now, I mean, I, there's pretty much no smell. I don't smell it anymore. So it's simple. You know, two bottles of peroxide, a little bit of Dawn dish soap, and baking soda. That's all it takes, you know. You don't want to mix water or anything in there to try to fill the bucket. So it's pretty simple. You know, you're not going to submerge the skunk, but you can scrub one side, flip it over, scrub one side real good, and then get down in that scrub the fur real good as you can, and just wring it out, and you're done. I mean, there's not much smell to these at all. So, uh, I said I'm going to go ahead and let that stuff soak in real good, rinse them off, and then I'm going to skin them. I'm also going to skin a coyote after I'm done with those. So, again, thanks for watching. hope this helps somebody out, and hope you guys have a great rest of your trapping season. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, so uh, we'll let the skunk sit and let that soak in a little bit. Uh, I was going to rinse them off with water hose, but I figured it'd be better to just put water in the bucket and rinse them off inside the bucket. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically do it the same way, except for I'm not going to wring it off in the bucket. I'm going to wring it off outside the bucket. Take the stuff here. I'm just going to sink it in the bucket. I'm going to rinse it off real good again. I'm going to make sure to get all that off of there. You want to wring out as much water as you can. You get the tail real good, get the legs real good, the chest. The much water you get out, the better. And we're going to go ahead and set this one over here. I'm going to pick this one up. Same thing. Stick it in there. We're going to rinse it off real good. Try to get all those soap duds out of there. I'm going to scrub them real good because we want to make sure we get them clean. That way there ain't no strong smells to them. Good. I'm definitely going to have to change clothes before I go back to church tonight. I don't think anybody would appreciate me in church smelling like skunk. So there we go. Now we have our skunks washed and they are they're all washed and they're rinsed off about you know i'd say about 80 to 85 percent of the smell is gone from them so i'm gonna go ahead and pour this water out and there we go so we're done with those they're ready to be skinned now All right, so uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to extract the essence. Uh, things you're going to need is a needle. 
you can get from any kind of farm store. Uh, we got this one at the uh, Orsland's, the local Orsland's bar house. And you're going to want a glass jar. Uh, right now I'm just going to use a mason jar with a metal lid. Uh, I don't save mine, you know, I'm going to use mine up real quick. So the metal, metal lid's fine for me. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Those are the two things you're going to need. Alright, so we got our needle here. Uh, always be sure to point it away from me just in case. Now a lot of people when they do this, they'll scan it and then they'll do it. I'm always afraid that I'm going to accidentally cut it with my knife. So I always do it beforehand. But basically you're going to have one on each side of the anus here. So I'm going to take my needle. And again, I'm going to point it away from me just in case something happens. We're just going to poke gently in there. You see, there we go. Now yellow stuff, that's what you want. You're going to keep pulling. Alright guys, sorry about that. My cousin pulled up and I was talking to him. Uh, he didn't want to stick around very long because of what I'm doing here. But uh, like I said, you know, always go away from me. Uh, we're going to try it again. Right in there again. You don't want to push real hard. Yeah, we're going to go to the other side now. Again, go away from you. Stick in a little bit. Pull it back a little, out a little bit. There we go. Got quite a bit out of that one. Got, you see that, minus two. Got right at about four milliliters out of that one. Out of that one side. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this mason jar. Again, when I get home, I'll more than likely put this in a different jar because I don't want to leave it in there, but that's all I got with me at the moment. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through them again just to be sure I got everything I want. You see? Went back in on that side and we got... Oh, about another milliliter, almost two milliliters again. So we're right a little over five milliliters out of that one side. And again, you want to keep going, keep going until you do it and you don't get nothing. That's your kind of your goal here. So we're going to go again. There we go, we got nothing. All right, so I'm going to go back to the other side and try it again just to be sure. There we go, I got about ooh, four milliliters on that pole right there. And I honestly, I have no, no idea how many milliliters are in an ounce. But if I was to say, I'd say we're pretty, getting pretty close to an ounce so far. We're going to go back in there again. Like I said, uh, with the value of this stuff, just keep... Keep trying, keep trying. You want to go until you ain't getting anything out. I think we got about all of it now. Yeah. I think we got about all of it out of that one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the other one. And it's kind of funny on that one because uh you know both of these sprayed pretty pretty good when we went up there this one now this is the old black one this one i know sprayed pretty good uh the one we just did was one that sprayed on our trap this one sprayed big time out in the air so but we're gonna go ahead and give this one a try just to see so again you want to point it you're going to move them up a little bit. You want to point it away from you. You're going to go right. So like the, you're going to go in between the anus and the tail. To the side of the anus. 
We're going to pull to see if we can get anything out of this one. And the, uh, doing this is really, really rough on your needles. Uh, I've already done this once before. So after this, this needle right here will be trash. You usually get once or twice out of it, and that's about it. So this one's actually got quite a bit, surprisingly. So we got about five milliliters out of that one right there. We're going to spray it down in there. We're going to go again just to be sure. This is and this is just on one side now. So yeah, we got that one side real good. So now we're gonna stick it into the other side. That one didn't have very much in it. We're going again. Yeah, I think that's all that one had. I think one side was empty. I'm not sure how skunks work. I don't know if they empty one sack and then go to the other one. If they both flow at the same time. Not sure, but uh, we got the one side. I think the other side was empty. So, uh, you know, out of the two skunks, we definitely got over an ounce. But that's basically how I do it. Uh, again, my... Phone's about to die, so I ain't gonna get any more filming in. But again, want to thank you guys for watching. Again, you know, I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope this video helps somebody out. Uh, it's kind of a basic video, but you know, if one or two people get something out of it, it's totally worth it for me. So, again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your season, and thank you.